Hey friends, welcome, welcome back. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And thank you so much to all of my subscribers that have been supporting me. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't already subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would. And so today I want to share with you this super cute pineapple sign. Isn't this cute? So now this, my husband made me the sign itself with his CNC machine. And I know that not everybody has, you know, the opportunity to use a CNC machine. And I absolutely realize that. So, but if you have been thinking about getting one, I'm telling you, they're amazing. I have several projects that I'm doing with his CNC machine. But this, I was thinking you could also, so in your maker, you couldn't do this thick of a piece of wood. However, you could do a more shallow piece of wood and you could cut it out. And then that could actually go wood glue because you can do these in layers and you can wood glue on top of another piece of wood and have the same thing. So you could actually use your maker and cut this out or you could even use a burning tool and burn in this or whatever picture you wanted. So this really is just kind of just to give you ideas. And so the pineapple, I Googled the image of the pineapple. I put it into Cricut Design Space and that's how I got my my pineapple. So you could make a stencil and you could do that and it could be with anything that you wanted to do. This is really just for the just for inspiration of, you know, some ideas that you could do and if you wanted to do the same thing, you know, this is just a Google image and it's super easy to do. And then I went in with my um Cricut and I cut out my words. So let's see, for my pineapple, I use the print is DJ Juicy and then I use Babette for the um, cursive. If you're wondering what, I'm what I was looking at, so anytime I do a project, I write down what I did to it because I do so many projects that if I wanted to come back and do the same thing again, I like to remember what all I use. So I'll write down the colors that I use and stuff like that. I'm not always as good as I should be, but I try to keep, you know, track of things in case I want to reproduce it. So this one is going to be a sign. I'm going to put just a little hanging tool on the back and I have a place that I want this. Now, you know, I could have, when I did the epoxy, I could have put handles in here and made this as a serving tray there are so many different things that you can do so if you don't cut wood yourself when you go to your hardware store they will cut your wood for you and then you can just sand it um and then like i said so you could if you have a maker you could cut your pineapple out of a thinner piece of wood and just wood glue it on top or you could use a burning tool to do that as well. But I just wanted to show you just to, you know, give you an idea. And honestly, like you can use a piece of wood. Um, you can use like from the Dollar Tree if you wanted to. I make projects out of Dollar Tree items all the time, like a piece of that Dollar Tree wood. And you could even just crick it on your design. I just happened to fill mine with glitter, but you could cricket that on and then cover it the same way with the epoxy. Lots of easy ways to make it. So listen, I hope that you enjoyed this and the video will be attached on making it. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Thanks. I love using this setup. So this is just a little metal table that I have. And because it is like this, this is a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. And then 
This Lazy Susan is from Ikea. Of course, I painted it because, you know, that's what I like. And there we go. So it allows me to do a little bit like that. Okay, so I am going to, let me just mix up my paint. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to paint the wood part, the upper wood part, and then this in here, I'm going to put epoxy. So I'll be doing some green epoxy, some brown through here. And this will blend a little bit because I won't be able to get, I'll let the epoxy sit a little bit so that it's a little thick, but I won't be able to keep it from blending completely, but I think that'll look pretty. And then this I'm going to, okay, so I'm gonna be painting it in blue, orange, and pink. And then I'm gonna do the outline of it in black. Now, also I have my little torch here. You don't have to do that. But for me, I am, sorry. My fingers don't always work right for this. And I'm just gonna, tour, I just wanna do my ends a little bit. I like that kind of burnt wood look. Alright. So now my colors, I'm not going to paint them with solid color. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of paint and then I'm going to use more, wa more water than paint. My paint brush cleaner here from Dollar Tree and it's just got paint brush um, cleaner in it and for things like this I do have baby wipes.
All right, so I have epoxy mix. I think I mixed about 40 cc's. I think that'll be enough, we'll see. So, and I picked up some brown and then I grabbed out my mica powder. And I let my epoxy sit a little bit so it wouldn't be super thin, but it's still kind of thin. It's gonna mix, but that's fine. The acrylic paint though will make it a little bit thicker. So we'll start with this much. I'm gonna start with my green. Do you hear the frogs? I love sitting outside. I love hearing all the animals and Stuff. Usually my husband is, because it's woods back there, my husband's usually like trampling back there too. A little bit more than I wanted and I should probably be careful so that I don't get it on my pitcher. That would be maybe smart. I'm okay if it doesn't go completely to the top because I am in the end going to do the whole thing. With epoxy so it will have um, epoxy over the whole thing and it'll go and I don't want to take a chance of it flowing over. You know? I probably, hold on, I put way too much in there. I'm just going to do the rest of it in this container because I don't want it to spill over. And I need to be able to put the acrylic paint in. So, the brown is darker than um, the green. So, I'm not worried about it being in um, the same Container though, because the brown will out through the green. careful because I don't want to go over. Oh, I definitely got plenty. Ah, please don't go over.
sure do hate wasting epoxy, but I don't really have anything that I can do with this brown, so. Alright, I just want to make sure you can see it well. Okay, so now I have my vinyl. I used my Cricut for that. Okay, so here it is. So this is DJ Juicy is the print and then um, Babette is the cursive. And so if you have the Cricut Access, these ones are free with the Access. Um, if you don't, they may have a um, a cost to them. I like the Cricut X Access. I just pay for it, you know, for a year, and I feel like I get a lot with it. So this um, vinyl is the Cricut Holographic. Now it is a nice vinyl. It's very thick. Um, sometimes the backing will come up a little bit with it, but I can generally peel that off pretty easy. And I notice that that happens a lot with like thicker vinyls. See, you can see right there. I'm gonna get on this one where it, the backing has kind of come up with it. I'm not sure why and you know maybe it's just the pull from thicker vinyls when it's you know maybe it's just how long it's been on the um, how long it has been you know on this paper I'm not exactly sure why but I do notice that occasionally that happens So I'm just going to pull it up and, and move it. See the backing, it comes up easy. You just, you know, I don't know why it sometimes does that. But usually if you just scratch over it like that, it'll come right up. And I just want to make sure I put everything back together. Yep. Okay, so this one says, wear a crown, stand up tall, and be sweet. So I'm going to put that right there. All right, and then this is my... Be like a pineapple. I thought that this holographic glitter would be, you know, really nice with this. Because of all the colors in it. And then when you move the holographic. It has such nice colors.
I already have a plan set out for this picture. All right, so I'm going to put that. there. Now normally I save my um, all my vinyl and I just reuse it as long as I can. I mean not my vinyl, my um, transfer tape. However, this one I'm not going to be reusing because of the shimmer I have on this. Knowing that I'm sure my Tate picked some of it up, and I certainly don't want to transfer it to something else that I may not necessarily want shimmer on. All right, so this is going to be so cute. Now I'm going to put, um, so my epoxy is all nice and dry through here with my sparkle. So now I'll put epoxy over the entire thing and it'll be done. All right. All right, so now we got our pineapple ready so we've got the be like a pineapple wear a crown stand tall and be sweet so our epoxy in here is all done of course so now we're just going to cover the outside of it in epoxy now i put a polyurethane you could use mod podge whatever over top of this on the outside though because you know with the wood my 
letters weren't sticking the greatest. So I wanted to make sure they were sealed on well. And then, now the nice thing with wood, if you're not sealing it, if you're doing a project like this and you're not sealing it under epoxy, then um, use heat transfer. You can do heat transfer on wood and it looks so good. Heat transfer looks so nice on wood. This picture is going to be so sweet. Now, I let this epoxy stand for a bit because I don't want it running all down my side. So, I let it get a little bit gummier to work with. No big deal. But it allows me to do what I need to and it not get and it not necessarily run everywhere. Just, uh, take my feet down to it just a little bit. So we'll let it dry and then we'll be back.